In this video, I'll go over setting up Vault Warden using Docker on a Synology NAS. Also, as a LastPass user, I'll go through the process of migrating LastPass data into Vault Warden. For a bit of background, Vault Warden is an unofficial Bitwarden server implementation written in Rust and provides the full implementation of the Bitwarden API, including the features listed here on screen. Vault Warden is compatible with the official Bitwarden desktop clients that are available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and is also compatible with the Bitwarden browser extensions for the web browsers listed here, including Google Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. For further details on Vault Warden, I'll leave a link to the Vault Warden wiki in the description below. Now I'll get to some prerequisite steps before configuring Vault Warden, and the first is to set up the DNS. I'll do this by bringing up Control Panel, select External Access, choose the DDNS option, then click Add. For a service provider, I'll choose Synology, then enter in a hostname I'd like to use. Then check the box to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and set it as default, and test the connection where I get a status of normal. I'll then click OK and OK on this pop-up window to complete the DDNS setup. Next, I'll set up port forwarding on my router where I'll forward port 443 to the internal IP address of my Synology NAS on the corresponding port. Now, I'll bring a package center and search for and install Docker. Once installed, I'll launch Docker from the main menu. Then I'll switch to the registry listing and search for and download the Vault Warden server image, where I'll choose the latest tag. I'll then switch to the image listing and wait for the image to complete downloading. Once downloaded, I'll select the image, then click Launch to start the process of creating the Vault Warden container. From this network window, I'll leave things as is to make use of the default bridge network, then click Next. Under General Settings, I'll give the container a name and enable Auto Restart. Under Port Settings, I'll leave things as is in My Setup, then click Next. From this Volume Settings window, I'll need to set up a folder to create a persistent location for my Vault Warden data. To do this, I'll first bring up FileStation, then create a subfolder under the Docker Shared folder that I'll name Vault Warden. Once that is set up, I'll click on Add Folder, select the Vault Warden folder that was just created, and enter in slash data for the mount point. From this summary window, I'll click Done. Then I'll switch over to the container listing. Here, I'll select details for the Vault Warden container, and I'll make note of the local port assigned to the container's port 80. This port will be used as part of the reverse proxy setup that I'll go through next. Now I'll close the Vault Warden and Docker windows, bring up Control Panel, then Login Portal. I'll then select Advanced, then click on the Reverse Proxy option. From this Reverse Proxy window, I'll click Create to bring up this Reverse Proxy Rules window. Here I'll enter in a Reverse Proxy name, under Source, I'll switch the protocol to HTTPS, enter in the DDNS hostname under Hostname, and set the port to 443. For destination, the protocol will remain HTTP, hostname will be localhost, and the port will be the number assigned to the Vault Warden container that I noted earlier. I'll then click Save to complete the reverse proxy setup. Next, I'll bring up another browser tab, enter in the HTTPS Vault Warden address, which is the DDNS hostname that was set up earlier, then hit return. Once the Vault Warden page loads, I'll click Create Account and enter in the information that is requested. Then I'll click on the Create Account button to complete the setup. Now I'll log in with the account that was just created, and I'm all set to start making use of Vault Warden to manage my accounts. The final topic I'd like to cover is importing LastPass data into Vault Warden. 
To do this, I use these instructions, which I'll link to in the description below, to export my LastPass data from my LastPass vault. The steps basically involve bringing up Advanced Options, then selecting Export from the menu that appears. This provides a CSV file that can be imported into Vault Warden by bringing up Tools, then clicking on Import Data. Here I'll need to select the format of the import file, which will be LastPass CSV. Select the file to import and upload the file, then click Import Data. Once the import is completed, you'll have the full list of accounts that was stored in your LastPass vault, and from what I can tell in my setup, everything transferred properly. If you do run into any issues, leave a comment in the description below, and I'll see if I can help. Also, for additional details on setting up a reverse proxy, including configuring HTTP to HTTPS redirect, check out this video listed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.